Hello folks, uh, this is uh, 2021 Majin paper 11 and the question number is 21. As you can see from the question, it is concerned with the chapter waves. <coughs> so it says that uh, two identical waves are produced by sources at point P and Q, P and Q. The waves travel along different path, different path to reach point R, so point R, so they superpose at point R. Both waves have a wavelength of 6.0 cm, so lambda is equal to 6.0 cm. The waves are in phase at point R, so that means uh, uh, at R they will be forming either, forming either bright uh, region or if it is a sound wave they will be having high amplitude or if it is some uh, infrared wave it, they will have a higher uh, intensity there and so on. So in phase. What is the phase difference between the waves as they leave points P and Q? So if they are in phase here, of same phase here, what is the phase difference at the sources here, here and here? So in order to find that, we must uh, first find how many waves can be adjusted within this thing and this thing. So how many waves can be adjusted uh, in this 80 centimeter and in this uh, 100 centimeter? So to find that, so first let's find here. The number of waves in the first path is, let us say, NPR should be equal to the whole distance, the whole distance by the wavelength, 6.0 centimeter. So it will be equal to, if I do in the calculator, it will be equal to, it is 13.33. So let me do it as 13 1 by 3 waves. 13 1 by 3 wave. Then the number of waves in this QR path will be equal to, NQR will be equal to, it will be 100 by 6.0 so it should be should be should be uh, so 100 is uh, 6 16 the 96 so it is uh, 16 then uh, it is uh, uh, then 2 by 3 2 by 3 waves so here there are 13 and 1 by 3 waves and here there will be 16 and 2 by 3 waves so the the difference in the number of waves so delta n let us say that's equal to 16 2 by 3 minus 13 1 by 3 which becomes 3 1 by 3 so the uh, wave difference the difference in wave number is equal to 3 and then 1 by 3 so this thing does not contribute to the phase difference because if uh, uh, some wave differs by three waves the phase difference the phase difference will be uh, let us say uh, 3 into 360 degree which is again equal to 0 degree so this does not contribute to the way, uh, phase difference only this portion contributes to the phase difference so now if there is a difference of one wave one wave the phase difference in terms of angle is a 360 degree one wave one wave is one cycle so 360 degree so if it is a 1 by 3 wave then it should be equal to 1 by 3 into 360 degrees and that's equal to 120 degrees so it is something that we must remember that uh, when there is difference of one wave the phase difference is a phase angle difference is 360 degree or 2 pi so half wave 160, 180 degree or pi so for 1 by 3 it is uh, 2 pi by 3 actually 2 pi by 3 uh, in terms of pi so our choice number d should be the correct choice